Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're actually starting the front porch renovations. If you're new here, my name is Imani. I do things all home decor, making over spaces and creating a space that I want to live in. And if you're returning the hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So guys, this is episode one. I'm super excited for this series. So let's go ahead and get into the makeover. Hey loves and welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video, we got a couple things going on. We are working outside today. If you're new, hi, my name is Imani. I do things on home makeovers, home inspiration and home decorating and creating the space that I would like to live in. And then also just inspiring others to do the same. If you like any of those videos, make sure you subscribe before you leave out. And if you are returning the hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So y'all, we are going to be working in the front yard today. Um, as far as like the front door i would like to um get like the stuff off the front porch and just kind of just get it prepared for like decorating for when i do want to actually fall decorate so that's what we're doing today so i'm just going to show you guys kind of what's going on and just kind of what i want to do as well so let's go ahead and get started okay guys so this is actually how the um front porch is looking as you can see it's pretty dirty and this is just a close-up of everything so they actually have a lot of these acorns down here yeah i have never seen acorns in real life so i'm assuming these acorns probably came off of my um tree which is this tree up here and i feel like i want that tree to be cut down but y'all look at these acorns <laughs> real acorns do this mean the fall is coming this is so cute but this is how the front porch is looking right now um and I do feel like it needs to be cleaned off. So we're gonna go ahead and sweep it. I'm not sure, I would like to pressure wash it, but I would have to have um, somebody actually do the machine. But this is actually how the porch is looking right now. And this is the front door. If you do not know, if you're new here, I did end up painting the front door um, black. I end up spray painting the little doorknob up there gold. And then I end up painting this black as well. So that's how everything is looking, as you can see. So, and then... A lot of just like spider webs, stuff like that. So, the doorbell and stuff do still work and yeah so it's like this little like wood part up there i haven't been able to actually get that down but i think i'm going to paint it black but yeah guys this is how the front porch is looking right now it is gray i have thought about actually painting it i'm just not um exactly sure if that's what i want to do and as you guys can see it is actually not leveled comment below if you guys um know how i could actually level the um the porch i'm not sure if i should just put like dirt right here but as you guys can see it is not leveled and then over here it's leveled but like once you get over here it's not leveled so yeah that's how everything is looking right now but now we're going to go ahead and start sweeping let's go ahead and get started
okay guys so this is how the porch is looking right now i would like to pressure wash it but yeah my pressure washer requires so much um i don't have like one of those portable ones i got like one of the old school ones and i would have to find a water hose in the front to actually do it so i'm really considering i'm really considering um just go ahead and just paint it um painting it the color that um i have on my patio i think it'll pop really nice out here if i decide to do that so that is what i am looking to do now am i going to do that today hmm i don't know um i would like to but i'm not sure but um we're going to go ahead and probably I don't know like I could probably get like a little dirt off like if I like maybe like mop it or something or like maybe like put like some water over it and actually or I, you know what I could do that I could put some water over it with some soap and then see if that I actually get some of the dust and debris off so we could go ahead and try that so let's see So guys, right here what I'm doing is I am taking this scraper and it actually had like little like almost looked like little cement spots because they was pretty hard to um, get open. But um, I am taking a scraper and I'm just kind of just hitting these spots real quick just to um, not um, have like lumps on the um, ground once I actually start applying the paint so that's actually what I'm doing right now and as you see they're pretty dusty and I will make sure that I sweep off the porch again before I actually apply the paint so that's what I'm doing right here and then once we're all done with these we're going to go ahead and start painting So guys, right here is the painter's tape and then I'm going to go ahead and start to apply the paint around the edge by the front door um, because I'm thinking about um, making this stoop right here. I think it's called a stoop. Well, I guess a step. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about making a step right here in the middle actually black to match the door. At first I was thinking gray, but I think I'm going to just keep it black because to me it just kind of contrasts better. But um, I'm just going to continue to, um, as you guys can see, it's kind of already gray right here on my little step. But I think I want to make that black. Let me know if y'all think black will look right on this step. If not, I'll just go ahead and do the other color. But I just think the black will look better right there um, on that little step versus the gray. Because I feel like the whole porch is already going to be like that gray. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then after this, we're going to go ahead and get started. And this is the bare cement porch paint that I am going to use, which is the same color that I use um, for my patio. I'm not even sure what the color is. I forgot, but I'll, um, I'll drop it in the comments if you guys would like to know the color. But this is the roller that we're going to be using. 
um, for the little porch. And the good thing is that it's actually not that big, so that's good. Um, and then this is just the pan that I'm going to use, which already has the gray from my house. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I did notice that the paint pan was a little stuck, so it did take me a few um, seconds to get that open. However, I didn't realize that paint actually starts to change colors when it's been sitting for a while. So when I did um, actually finally get, get it open, it was actually like a super like dark gray. But all I had to do was really just shake it up and then it ended up coming back to its regular color. So but the color is really, really pretty. I'll show you guys how it looks here in a minute. So I actually end up going over the porch one more time just to make sure when I do start painting that dirt and dust is not actually getting on my paintbrush. So that's actually what I'm doing right here just to make sure all the dust is off.
little holes that you see the little patches here and there I think I'm gonna have to do those um, with a brush to kind of get it to the um, cohesive with the other parts so yeah I think I'll have to do that with a brush so that's what I'm gonna do for that Hey y'all. So we are at Lowe's guys. And what I'm looking for today is I'm looking for like maybe like some dirt or something that can actually go in like that little spot where it's like um kind of cutting off where it looks like it's like missing dirt or something. Even grass, but comment below and let me know what would you guys normally put right there? Because I'm in Lowe's right now I'm trying to figure out what I can actually put there to kind of cover that space. I don't know if I should put flowers right there, which I really don't want to because I'm not really a gardener, but I think I'm gonna probably put like some dirt or something right there, but comment below and let me know. That's what I want to do. And um, we are at the Lowe's parking lot right now. We about to go ahead and head in um, and stuff like that. So I really hope I can find something to put, in, to put in that spot where the cement is just like showing but it's like grass on one side, but like the other side is just like uneven and not even. So comment below. Have you guys ever had that issue where you guys had like a porch or a patio? And like up under the patio, it was like, it was grass and dirt, but like on the other side, it wasn't leveled. And it was just like lower than the other side. But let me know, but we are at Lowe's right now and we are about to go ahead and head in. So let's go ahead and go. what you're saying okay 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 let's see have those okay this this is smaller okay I mean you have a couple different Mm. Here's a, another one that's green. Mm, okay. Yeah, so you have a couple of different options here to go with. But you so, need something to level it because it's going like I, this. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I know. So, so, from the picture that you've seen, what would you suggest? From so the border wise? Yeah, like from um, from what I showed. Honestly, that, you I know that go black go look good too. This black is actually. This, yeah, that. That you could put together. Because then what if, you oh, only, yeah. what if you only need two pieces? You don't yep. need to buy a, yep. a $33. I'm not going to send that home with you. You don't need that whole thing. Okay, okay, yep, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right because... You need piece actually get like two pieces, come back, oh crap, I need another one. Or, oh crap, I bought three and I only need two. You can return it as long as you have your receipt. Exactly. So, you know what? This is actually a great idea. Yeah. So, I wonder, okay. So, okay, so they don't, okay, so they don't have the black ones. Don't see any, no. Okay. Looks like it's this. this might be in this, but this is way more than what you need. I yeah, think. yeah, 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 yeah. Because the porch is about is about a little bit over five by seven. You know, so it's actually not that big. So these are three feet. So I would say I think like two of these are probably work to be honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, something so, like that. Mm -hmm. So Okay, so where the gap is, where I'm showing up to here. Thanks for helping, by the way. <laughs> You're welcome. So, as you see,
see it's not even it's it's, it's literally just that right mm -hmm. so that's what I was thinking. <laughs> it's like you. Because, I mean, that's five bucks right there. That's yeah. It. That's even the better. Exactly. And if you get home and go, oh, well, then you know it's only five bucks. You could run back up here if you get started. Okay. How much for these a bag? This is two eighty eight a bag, but they've got the Scots on sale for uh, two bucks a bag. Two bucks a bag? That ain't bad at all. That's the way to go. Maybe I should grab some? Could you? Um, I've got a couple that aren't missing anything at all. Really, they were just ripped open. Okay. Bag, two or three of them there. How many do you need? It, like a small amount, honestly. Okay. I just want to feel. Let's see. I just want to fill this spot right here. You, so you could probably tell her how much to get. For let's see. I just want to fill this spot. Like right up under the porch. Let's see. Right so I, I did my porch over, but mm -hmm. it's missing dirt like right there. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna take like one of those little fence things mm -hmm. and put it like outside of it and just try to fill it. You know what I'm saying? Like fill it with something. Mm -hmm. Right? Then yeah, you'll probably need. Whoa, okay. How much do you suggest? Probably like the dollar fifty bag. I mean, honestly, just to get started. I mean, cause yeah. get all the cheap bags. Yeah. Honestly, with literally buy all the cheap bags. Okay. the one that actually goes out yes from the porch right mm -hmm. so that can go out from the porch and then let's see so I would have to figure out how I'm gonna turn it though and I say that because I know it's not pieces that smaller than this no. or maybe well. because now I'm looking at This is what I'm thinking about getting right here, guys. I'm thinking about actually building like a pathway, but like kind of like the fast way and like sticking these in the ground and kind of making a path and then putting like rocks in between and then like the black stuff. So we gonna see what it do. Okay. 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 Yep. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yep, so let's look for some rocks then. Oh, the rocks are out. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, Nasco, let's go. Come on. <laughs> okay, so these are sand pebbles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those are kind of pretty too, like on a neutral side. Mm hmm Those are kind of cute. Hmm. Okay. Nice. And these are how much? Uh those are oh, okay. 438. 438, okay. All right. Because I don't know if these will fill the hole. And I'm not even sure if. I don't know if these will fill like the hole. Mm -hmm. It can kind of be mixed with the black stuff, really. But still covering most of it. Okay. It, it depends. I can always make it some more. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? So, you know, yeah, because the goal is to kind of like, you know, make it look good. Mm -hmm. You know, 
and professional. So I'm thinking, should I get these or the other ones? Okay, guys, so these are the um, brick rocks. I thought these look good with the house, but then these are the other ones right here, which is this bag. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. I think these brick ones will go good with the house though. I don't know guys. Let me know, but we're about to grab one and they're about to go ahead and head out.